To start things off, I added a clip to my timeline that I would like to add a before and after animation to. The first thing we want to do is hold down the Alt key while dragging our clip onto the track above to duplicate it. Now let's head over to the effects pane. What we need is a filter to make our clips look different. Type Cinespace 100 into the search box. Then drag the effect onto the top clip. Next, we want to do a search for the crop effect. Drag it onto that same clip. Make sure your clip with the effects on it is selected and then go up to the effect controls pane. In here, make sure your playhead is at the beginning of your clip. Then under the crop effect, click on the timer toggle next to the left property to create a starting keyframe. Drag your playhead to around the middle of the clip and change the left value to 100% to create an ending keyframe. Now when we play back our clip, we have a nice looking before and after animation. If you find the animation to be too slow, just drag your second keyframe closer to your first. Alright, and that's all there is to it. I hope you found this tutorial useful.